everybody, welcome back to part two of How to Survive in Survival Craft. As you'll recall, when we left off, I was going to finish digging up for iron and uh, coal. I got that all dug out. There was quite a bit of coal and quite a bit of iron. I did go ahead and throw out some of my stone machetes and I replaced those with iron and I also replaced my pickaxe with an iron one. So, uh, without further ado, let's continue on. Now we can see, at least. Oh yes, I did spend the night. Um, I could hear the wolves out there howling, so I knew it was nighttime. So I put some dirt down here and spent the night. So today I think I'm going to focus on trying to find a location where we can start building a house. And we'll get a more permanent home instead of wandering. I did hear a bear out here, and right on cue, there he is. So we'll have to watch out for this bear. Um, I'm kind of in a pit here. I've got to dig my way out of here. All right, we have got screen leg big time. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know, sometimes I have a lot of issues and sometimes I have no issues. So hopefully this will clear up here quickly because nobody wants to be lagging. Alright, how do I get out of here? I guess up this way. It's a little unsettling to me anyways when you can hear a predator but you don't know exactly where they're at. So we're just going to kind of creep up here and hopefully we won't have any rude surprises. Alright, let's get up here. And I could go ahead and explore some more in the cave. But at this point I've got everything I need. I would just as soon find a place to put down some roots and then I can always go back and explore this cave or other caves in more depth but I don't want to lose my iron and my coal so I want to find some place that we can build and make some chests and put some of our good stuff in there before we do too much exploring let's see I'm I'm not gonna build too big of a house but I'd like to have a flatter area to build and part of the reason, here we go with the leg again, I'm so sorry guys. Part of the reason I want a flatter area to build is I want to show you guys how to make that werewolf trap. It is so cool. So easy, so cool. Let's look over here, this looks a little promising. I have to take some of this out, but not too much. I think this will be a good spot. We've got a view looks good let's just call it good and we will get started here and what I usually do I, when I find a place I'm gonna build again I dig underground and I go down usually about four and then I'll just dig a area out maybe four by four four by five and make a, like a temporary house sometimes I will turn it into my basement Sometimes I will just have it be, I'll just fill it back up like it never existed. Um, just kind of depends, I guess, on the mood I'm in. And most of the time I start a mine shaft in my temporary shelter here. I kind of like having a mine shaft, you know, right underneath my house. It's just handy, <laughs> safer. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. We'll just get started here and we'll see how things go and um, figure out what we're going to do. Alright, that'll be good. We just want a little place where we can have some chests and some of our items available and not be carrying everything around with us. Alright, get some chests made. Go ahead and make two chests. One fills up pretty quick. Okay. Two. 
one there, we'll put one there, we'll get some coal in our furnace so it's ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, let's see. I definitely want to put that over there and let's put at least some of this over here. I always like to carry some wood, some stone, and a crafting table with me. Just because, again, if I'm out and about and I get somewhere where, you know, I need to build something, I've got what I need on hand again. So, we'll keep that. I am going to put one of my uh, machetes in my chest. And I do that because it's just a lot easier if, if I'm out and about and I get killed. You know, you respawn back where you slept last. And I like to just be able to come into my house, open up my chest, grab my machete, and head on out to wherever I need to go to retrieve my stuff. Usually when you bite the dust, it's because of an animal. So, it's good to have a weapon with you when you go back to get your items. Okay, so, replace that. I've got this. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more iron. And make a, another axe. Because we're going to have to gather up some wood. I like to make my houses out of wood, typically. But I do usually do the roofs in stone. And I do that because when the lightning comes... Um, it can be it can be bad. It can hit your house if it's wood and start it on fire and that's never fun to come back and find out, oh yeah, my nice house is no longer nice. Okay, I do not have enough wood here to make a ladder. Uh, so we'll have to improvise for now. I don't even have enough to make a hatch door there. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, come on. And I'll just leave this one short, so hopefully I'll remember where I'm at. And I usually put a marker up, too, just so I can help myself find my house again. Alright, that and that. And I'm going to go three up. Come on, jump. <laughs> Doesn't want to jump. Too early in the morning, I guess. Come on. All right, there we go. Good grief. Got Mr. Wolf over there watching me. What is this crazy person doing? Now, don't you worry about it. All right, we've got a lot of trees over here, so that's great. I don't see any danger except for the wolves. So let's go get some trees, and we'll get a ladder going. We'll get us a hatch cover, and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first video I did in this series. Hopefully you were able to play survival craft and maybe use the super simple shelter. I'm hoping that worked out for you. You know, feel free, guys, please leave some comments, some feedback. Again, all I ask is please be kind. And uh, if you like the video series, please hit that like button. Let me know that, yeah, we like this. Uh, continue it. Maybe do another one later on. Uh, let me know what you're looking to see in them. And I'll be happy to do as much as I can for you. Nothing else. Let's admit it. It's relaxing when you've had a stressful time in survival craft. It's really nice to watch somebody else deal with all the issues and you can just sit back in the safety and comfort of your chair and <laughs> you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, there's animals all over the place. They're all after me. <laughs> you can just point the finger and laugh at the other person that's got to deal with the mess. So... Nothing else. It's good entertainment and good way to relax and unwind after you've had issues. All right. Let's go back to our shelter. It's starting to get to be dark. And we have lag again. It's going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to just go ahead and, like I said, make this ladder and a top for our shelter. 
and then I'm going to wrap it up partially because we've got a lot of leg and I don't want that and partially because uh, well it's just a good place to stop so let's get this done just turn all these into planks because I will be needing them uh, what am I doing? ladders so I need some sticks here okay probably going to need four ladder rungs Okay, now at least we can come and go as we want without all the dirt. So we'll put that up there. Get our ladders up. Oops, I need to have something behind that, don't I? Okay, didn't plan that out too well. It's alright, we'll make it work. Come on. Here comes the ever-present wolves. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to come over here. We're going to sleep, so if anything happens, we respawn back here where our stuff is. And I will see you guys later in part three. Thanks for joining, and have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me some comments, some feedback, any questions you might have. And hey... Keep on playing survival craft. Thanks. Have a great day.